special delivery. Hey, it's Friday night. We're hanging out in the shed tonight, getting uh, some work done, trying to catch up. We were actually in Connecticut for a few days this week, so we haven't been really in the shed listing much. We did do some thrifting while we were in Connecticut. Janelle's setting up her stuff now to show you what we found. While Janelle's setting up, I'm uh, going through some of my death pile of things. I got this uh, tape recorder thing here that was filthy. Um, as you can see, some of it is still there. I've been... Um, at it and getting all the dirt and grime out of the grooves. I don't even think this thing is worth much, maybe 15, 20 bucks. Uh, Janelle conveniently put it in my death pile because I'm the one that scooped it up. I think it was at like a string of a couple sales. We weren't really finding much and this was like a couple bucks. I'm like, perfect. And I just made 20 bucks. But the problem is I don't think it's really worth it because I've been at this thing for probably 20 minutes trying to get it cleaned up and I'll probably be at it for another 15 more minutes to finish it and what, make 20 bucks, maybe less after fees. So working on that, and then I also have a uh, printer here that Janelle found at the bin store. I think it's new, I'm not fully sure, but I'm gonna pull it out, make sure it's new. If it's, if it's still in the packaging and everything, which I think it is, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this listed without even testing it. So I'm gonna, get that going and I think Janelle might be ready to show you what we found while we were out in Connecticut. All right so Frank finally got the camera set up for me so I can show you our haul from the week. Slim pickings around here lately with things that we've been finding at sales and thrift stores not a lot of stuff so found quite a bit of plush uh, the few days that we were sourcing in Connecticut. Um, found this little dinosaur pterodactyl at the Goodwill bins. It's the Kids of America vintage, no year or anything on it, but just a little nylon uh, dinosaur here. Couldn't find this particular one. And then there, there was one that sold a while back for a bigger size, the same one that sold for $32. Found a baseball glove at the bins, a Mizuno glove here. It's got some writing on it and that. Um, the Goodwill bins that we went to in Connecticut were $1.69 a pound or $1.49 a pound, I think. So, um, not not too bad. Um, this glove should go for about twenty dollars. Um, doesn't seem to be cracking or you know any damage necessarily. Just the writing on there, so it should be good for the spring. Found a Jim Shore figure. Uh, the name is Forever My Honey Bunny. Found this at the Goodwill bins as well. It's kind of heavy, um, maybe a pound or so. And no recent comps on this right now, but maybe for Easter. There was one that sold back in January for thirty dollars. So, you know, for the price we got it for, it should be pretty good. Another find at the Goodwill bins, a latch hook kit, sunflowers here, still new sealed. And there's comps between $15 and $30 for this. So, be a nice easy sell. So that Goodwill bin store was different than ours. I haven't been to ours very many times, maybe a few times. Mm -hmm. um, Janelle goes at least once a week. Right. And a little bit of a sidetrack before I forget to put it in this video. I do want to answer a question about the Goodwill bins from a viewer. I don't remember the viewer's name. I just caught it on our YouTube channel on the previous video we dropped. And they were asking if uh, Goodwill bin stores are better certain days of the week than other days of the week. Hmm. And I think I can answer this one, but Janelle can correct me if I am wrong. I want to try to answer this to see, test my knowledge in the Goodwill bins. Um, Janelle has told me that during the week is actually better. And the weekends seem to be, as this is for our bins now, I don't know if it's for all the bins, that on the weekends, um, they don't really bring a lot of newer stuff out or many new bins out, right? And they only swap them out like, and not as often. I mean, yeah, I don't know. We, we haven't really been to our bins much on the weekend. So I guess, I, I don't know. We're, We've went a couple times. Yeah. I remember you saying that. You were yeah, saying that. Yeah. You know. Ideally, I think they try to cycle them out every hour. They'll do like a row of bins every hour. Uh, doesn't always happen or they might be a little slow at that. But found this Barney and I, I you guys know I'm not the plush person, but mm -hmm. I figured eh, Barney, it's vintage. You got to look it up. And this one is not really worth much. Um, and Janelle actually found out that what the teeth are like falling apart. Yeah, I didn't notice which that. Which might be common sure. though for that age. So it might still, you know what I mean? The yeah. others that are still selling. But I do want to let you know, there is a Barney that goes for like 300 bucks. Two yeah. or three. Is that like an original Barney or something? Or the first generation I mean, maybe? Maybe. Must but the, be the first, I, yeah. for my research, what I noticed, that Barney will have seams going down the snout. Like if you see two seams going down, stitch seams going down the snout of the Barney, 
grab that because that, well, that is the valuable burn. Well, and his face looks different. I mean, it, it does look a little bit different anyway. I think the purple is a little bit darker. His eyes, I think, look different. His mouth is different. So, yeah, we'll try, we'll pop some pictures up. Yeah. Some well, I, I don't even know if we're going to list this one because of the teeth. Back to what I was saying about the bin store we went to in Connecticut. Um, they let people walk right up to the bins. Yeah, as they're bringing them as out. As they're bringing them out. But they say, no, you know, hands off. You can't touch. Whereas our bin store, you got to stay behind the yellow line, clear across the other time, you know, other side of town, yep. <laughs> and and then they'll be like, "Ready, go!" You know, and this this one was you you just stand right there and you kind of do the peek, and you you know someone sees something they want, and so they do the oh you know I'm gonna stand right here and so I can grab it when they say go, <laughs> and uh, so it was, it was a fun experience. Oh, you sold something, honey. <laughs> um, and. And the price was higher, but we yeah. that's that's for every bin store we go to. For some reason, yeah. our bin store is the ch cheapest we've ever seen. Yeah, so. yeah, our bin store is thirty nine cents a pound, and and this one, like I said, I think I don't, it was either a dollar forty nine or a yeah. dollar sixty nine a pound, yeah. something like that. And this one grossed me out just like any other bin store, but you know, Janelle had fun though. Not sure if this is considered vintage and old. Um, Abercrombie and Fitch bag uh, with the cloth handles, a shopping bag. Um, this is actually like a you know cardboard or whatever, but it's got the cloth handles specifically, and um, you know the picture of the model there. And you know not huge money, but these actually can sell between ten to fifteen dollars, surprisingly. So I've never found one myself, but I feel like I've heard before about you know the the old Abercrombie and Fitch with the models there being worth something and so we'll we'll see if it sells so i'm not sure exactly what this is a strobo top light phase animator um i didn't open it up all the way and see what's in there as far as the pieces and parts to see if everything's in there um i scanned the barcode and it came up selling between 35 and 40 dollars and so i figured you know i'd just get it and i'd check it out later you know when i can lay it out at home and see if all the pieces are there so we'll see We'll see if that's all there, if it works. Frankie's excited about testing that one. Another little plush, an Adventure Planet Wheeze alligator plush with the tag still on there. He's cute, uh, no spots or anything, I don't think, no rips or anything. Couldn't find this particular one, but different little Wheeze plush by this brand goes for $10 or so, maybe a little bit more depending on the animal. Maybe he'll go for a little more being that he's more rare, I don't know, we'll see. I've heard about these from other YouTubers, other people on eBay, um, an Omron fat loss monitor, uh, model HBF-306. Uh, didn't come with any paperwork or the box or anything like that. It does turn on, um, you know, it does work and everything. This particular one, I might be able to get 30 bucks or so for it, even without, you know, a box or anything, so. Yeah, I, I kind of knew that when I saw it. I've heard, I've definitely heard about these before. Look out for the Omron fat loss monitor. There are different models. I don't know much about them. You know, if there's different models worth more or less. Honey, did you happen to show them this yet? No, not yet. I didn't think so. It was sitting over there. Um, I, th I found this, right? Yeah. This was at the Goodwill bins um, that we went to. It's pretty neat, a little LED coffee. I couldn't really find comps for this particular one, um, but for the, how much it was, I thought it was worth bringing into the shed and trying to mm -hmm. clean up and see if I can get it working. I got to find a power supply for it. I think top. it's, yeah, I think it takes uh, nine volts. It said maybe, I don't know. Maybe we love coffee. We're kind of coffee addicts, especially yes. when we do late nights mm -hmm. in the shed. So mm -hmm. I was thinking it would look kind of cool in our uh, shed somewhere, hang it up over our, you know, whenever we pull the coffee station out. Yeah. And our, we love our little percolator we set up out here in the shed. Another bins, uh, Goodwill bins plush find here. It's another Thai Pluffies bear from 2003. A lot of the times these don't come with the tags. The tags get torn off, but they're also machine washable, which is really, really nice because, I mean, this one is pretty, pretty dirty, but they usually come clean, you know, very, very easily, you know, washing them on delicate. So this one, the name is actually putter <laughs> p-u-d-d-e-r um and they're easy to look up even without the tag uh i know that it's a type fluffies and by the the year on the tag and it comes right up and this one can go for about 22.50 or so even without the tag i think i found this one at one of the regular goodwill stores paid a dollar for it this is one of those giant microbes plush and this one is the kissing disease 
She's got little eyelashes there. <laughs> I paid a dollar. And a lot of times these don't necessarily sell um, very well on their own, but they do really good in lots. And I've sold a lot of these, this brand plush before, um, all different, all different ones. For example, a lot of nine different Giant Microbes plush went for $30. Found another Jelly Cat Bashful Bunny. We actually sold one of these in a different color a week or so ago. You might have seen in one of our other videos. This one goes for between $20 and $45. <laughs> I need to research it a little bit more and see, uh, you know, what exactly the price point is. All different colors, different sizes can go for different prices, but Jelly Cat is a brand to look out for. Another Thai Beanie Baby. This is uh, Thai Cuddlies is the collection. I had never heard of that one before, but caught my eye. Uh, paid three dollars for it. This is this is Mookie and he goes for about thirty dollars or so. He's in really really good condition other than the tag being a little bent, but should be able to get close to that thirty for him hopefully. Uh, Tucker Giraffe Rattle plush here paid a dollar for it. No actual solds on this particular one. There's one listed right now for thirty three dollars which seems like a lot but I've sold this um, character before by Baby Gund in different sizes and different types of stuffed animals. And that's kind of the going, you know, going right for, you know, the bigger ones. So obviously I'll price mine a little bit cheaper and see what we get. But baby um, stuffed animals, you know, giraffes seem to seem to do really well. Found an old Halloween mask here from 1998. Paper Magic Group is the brand. Um, an old lady or witch. Uh, granny <laughs> listed for I found I actually found this mask that sold for $30 um, paid $5 for it and I can't find this particular one um, listed or recent solds you know with it being close to Halloween and that but figure for $5 we should be able to get that at least that 30 It's a 2006 Caruth Studios I don't know if it's like a clay or stone sculpture of radishes and when I found a similar comp, they were listed as rowdy radishes. <laughs> um, none listed right now. And then the, the one recent sold back in September was for $39.95 and they took an offer. And real good condition. I didn't, no chips or anything on it. It looks like it hangs up there in your kitchen or something, but it's pretty heavy. Got some Skechers sandals, some slides here with rhinestones on them, size 8. Real good condition. They are they are used, I think, but you know, real good shape. Paid four dollars for them. Couldn't find these specific ones, but similar styles seem to go about twenty dollars or so. So you know, it seemed like they were in good shape with all the rhinestones there. Found another pair of hokas. Paid up for these. <laughs> paid twelve dollars, and there there are a few you know cosmetic flaws. You know, the the shoes themselves are in good shape no cracking or you know the, the tread seems relatively good and everything some just scratches and some marks that will you know we'll clean it up and see how good a shape we can get them in um, these particular ones have sold for 76 dollars before so hopefully you know we won't get 76 but maybe 50 or so we'll see finally breaking our hoka dry spell we just got to get out of our area to find hokas yeah i guess so because that's like that's like the maybe the third pair we found now within yeah. a past couple months and we don't find them around here anywhere if you see in our previous video i mentioned that we never find hokas but every time we leave the area we'll we'll find a pair somewhere yeah <laughs> but that same goodwill that we went to i happened to be scanning the games a little bit and this goodwill was pretty nice it was very well organized neat but anyway as i was scanning the games Found Settlers of Catan. Uh, this is a fun game we've actually played this before so i didn't even need to comp but i know what it goes for um, got it for $3.99 and because we had some time to kill, we had nowhere to be anywhere fast. We went ahead and ripped the game apart right there in the store and made sure everything was in there and counted for everything. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe Janelle would, but normally I wouldn't just rip this all apart in the store and check it. I just pay the four bucks and check it out here in the shed. And then if it doesn't have all the parts, I'll either part it out or just get rid of it, redonate it. I don't know throw it out <laughs> but uh you know at least in the shed I, I look at it this way for four bucks i can you know do it in the comfort of my shed with some tunes going have a nice cold beer relax at my own pace i don't got people walking by me bumping into me while i'm trying to count the pieces but i don't know janelle's a different breed doesn't bother her so yep. another of the regular goodwills i found some shoes kind of paid up for these 
Again, I paid $8 for these flip-flops. The brand is Funky Monkey, size 8, and they go for about $30 or so. And there's not many listed that I could find right now, a couple solds, and I know it's not really the season anymore, but for being that they're new, I figured they should sell pretty easily. Found a new old stock Fisher Price toy here, hand tools from 1995, still new sealed with the little Fisher Price seal on there. Not huge money, uh, goes for about $20 or so maybe, paid $2 for it. Figured it'd be good, you know, going into the Chris Christmas time, should be, you know, an easy sell. This is a vintage cuddle wit cloth doll, paid $5 for her. I don't know that there's any listed right now. There might be one listed, I think, right now. No recent sold comps, but looking on Worth Point, these have sold for um, between $30 and $40 before. So paid $5 for her. Seems to be in pretty good condition, you know, other than her hair being a little messy, no stains or anything. And last thing we got here, Frank found this at one of the Goodwills, paid $12 for it. It is a uh, Fisher Price Snacks for Two. Some cheese and grapes and sausage there. Pretty cute uh, for ages three and up. Little playset, new in the box. Goes between 50 and $70. So that should be good oh. for Christmas. I do remember finding that. And I was gonna say, I don't remember finding that, but yep. I do remember. Um, that was a goodwill, I think, that we couldn't really find anything in. Yeah. And you came out empty handed. And you didn't even, I didn't even tell you I found this. <laughs> I mean, you knew I had it, but you didn't know what it was worth. And right. you're like, how much is it worth? I'm like, yeah, go ahead and comp it and see. And then you got all excited. So mm -hmm. Yeah, nice find. That was, that was after a little bit of a dry spell, so that definitely helped out a little bit. Yeah, yeah that was good. I found Block. You might have seen in the background, um, Frankie's cat Block is his name. Yeah. We've been bringing him out to the shed once in a while because uh, we kind of spent a lot of time out here, you know, as a family more sometimes more out here than in our own house <laughs> so uh so black will constantly meow whenever we're not in the house and miss us yeah. so we brought his litter box or a litter box out here and we've been trying to let him mingle around a little bit uh trying to keep him off all the inventory um anything that's listed and in, in stock is is in poly bags and sealed in our bin so right. shouldn't have to worry about cat hair with allergies and such anymore but he doesn't well, even really get into like our our regular stuff here he just like he just wanders yeah around, and we don't around. we don't keep him out here long either right. just enough to let him see us and you know mm -hmm. kind of refresh him a little bit and yeah. then send him back inside goes back inside and takes a nap so you might have seen me in the background while janelle was showing you the hall I got the printer unboxed and it's it's sealed. I mean, it's still got like the blue tape in there and everything. I don't see a USB cable, which I'm sure came with one. It comes with like the old style USB cable. So I'll, I'm sure I got one laying around. I'll throw it in there with it. And I don't see an instruction manual. I don't know if it was supposed to come with one or if it's all on the CD-ROM, but I'm gonna list this as is, open box. I'll get good pictures of this while I already got it unboxed and then I'll package it back up in the box the way it was and uh, get it listed. So that's gonna be good. Uh, do you know how much it went for, honey? Did you comp it yet? I did, but I don't remember now. It was a couple weeks ago. <laughs> we'll so. put it up on the screen for you, show you what we plan on listing this for. But uh, that was a pretty good bins find. Now we, we don't like doing a lot of electronics. We, returns rate is ridiculous on that. It's, yeah. You know, and then worrying about it getting broke and stuff, but, uh, right. but something like this, I mean, would you, three bucks you paid for it. At yeah, the I mean, I might have paid, um, I think it was four dollars when it's something heavy and it's just kind of like a like a right. flat price. But it looked like somebody had put it back because it was kind of sitting right on top of one of the bins that had already been out for a while and everything. And so I was kind of wondering why somebody put it back. So that's it for today. I am actually writing thank yous. Uh, it's a holiday weekend, so there's no orders going out Monday for mm -hmm. Columbus Day. But I'm gonna, we usually don't ship Saturdays. We we only really ship on Saturdays when it gets close to Christmas. And if it's like a long holiday weekend, we don't, not every holiday weekend, but we're already up to seven orders today. And I don't feel like packing 30 plus orders come Monday night to go out Tuesday. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack up what we already have going out um, just to kind of clear the queue. Uh, we're already out here anyway. So gonna get that stuff packed up tonight. And then I'm gonna get to listing more stuff tonight. We'll probably wrap it up out here in about midnight and come back out and hit it again tomorrow morning. So thanks for watching. Give us the old thumbs up. I'll post two more videos here and here for you to watch if you haven't had your fix. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Oh my gosh. And it's time for me to go fix my pants. See you later. See you later. See you later.
see you later.